We're back in Washington, D.C., focusing on radiation measurements and detection. It's another progress report on the World Tour of Innovation, and we're focused on radiation measurements here at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., with an expert in this field, Dr. Marco Moscovich. Let's talk about the measurements. Well, there are different types of detectors for different, different types of radiation. And what I have here, I have uh, this box. I have a few sources which are actually the same type of radiation or radioactive sources that are emitted when a nuclear incident uh, happens, like the one in Japan. I have a source of cesium-137. This is a gamma ray emitter, half-life for about 30 years. This is a very low activity, about half a microcurie so we don't have to worry about it. It's not going to expose us to anything which is of concern. And now I will show you what happens if I drop this source on one of the, our detectors, for example, this one. Okay, you can see that immediately, it immediately, the detector pick up the radiation and gave a very strong audio alarm that radiation is in the area. This device, it picked up the radiation, and if I move it away, uh, we hear only very low number of beeps. Another source of radiation, which is also emitted by a nuclear power plant, can be emitted following a nuclear incident, is uh, strontium-90. Again, this source emits beta. This is an americium-241 source. This is an alpha source, meets alpha particles, which are massive particles. Not much is happening here. This one doesn't pick anything. Actually, not even one count. However, if we use this detector, which is designed to measure these type of particles, you can see you hear very strong signal. Again, the same thing. Now, the reason this one can pick it up because the window here is very thin, so particles can actually enter the detector. What I'm claiming now, that actually this radiation can be stopped by a piece of paper. Now, without the paper, without the radiation. But let's put the paper on top of it, cover it with paper. Nothing is happening. Can you see that? So basically, this radiation is so non-penetrating that even a piece of paper can stop it. But with cesium, Okay, I cover it with a piece of paper. Any difference? No. So basically we can see that different types of radiation have different characteristics and the detectors are designed to pick up those characteristics. And basically the stronger the source, the more signal we want to get. So let me put first the cobalt 60 source on the detector. It increased, you can see that it increased. I will remove the cobalt and put the cesium. You can see it's much stronger, we can hear that. So you can see the different strengths give different signal, different effect, the noise is louder. Thanks for watching another progress report and see more at thermoscientific.com.